Zarak Homeboy says, please, is there any verse in the Quran to pray five times a day? No, there is no verse like that. There is nothing called five times a day in the Quran. There is no verse which talks about Salat being five times a day. No. Unless people twist the verses out of context and put their own words there, fine. That is what the Hadith followers do. Like Sunnis, Shias, Tariqa, Tutijaniya, whoever, they all manipulate verses and insert them there. Right? So any scholar who says this Quran mentioned five Salat, I'm available. Find me. We can have a dialogue only on that. I would love to handle you on that. Simple. Yeah, Zarak homeboy, the five prayers come from the hadith. It's not from the, 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 the Quran. And actually, uh, let me see if I can help you. How they got the five prayers, right? Yeah, where they said the prophet went to the sky to bring 50 prayers, right? He says 50 prayers. Uh, the hadith, I can give you the reference. Please, you can set it up. Let me give you the reference. It's Sahih al-Bukhari 349. In book reference, book number eight, hadith number one, right? So let me tell you the hadith, and then you judge it for yourself. It says what? Abu Abu uh, Abu Dar narrated. Sahih Bukhari, uh, Imam Bukhari wrote this, right? And he says Abu Dar narrated. Allah's messenger said, while I was at Mecca, the roof of my house was opened, and Gabriel descended, opened my chest and washed it with zanzam water. Then he brought a golden tree full of wisdom and faith, and having poured its contents into my chest, he closed it. Then he took my hand, ascended with me to the nearest heaven. Listen carefully. When I reached the nearest heaven, Gabriel said to the gatekeeper of the heaven, listen, Gabriel now said to the gatekeeper of the heaven, Open the gate. Gatekeeper asked, Who is it? Gabriel answered, Gabriel. He asked, Is there anyone with you? So that, that, that gatekeeper is blind. He can't see. So he has to now ask, Is there anyone with you? Then he said, <clears throat> Yes, Muhammad is with me. He asked, Has he been called? Gabriel said, Yes. So the gatekeeper, the gate was opened. We went over the nearest heaven and there we saw a man sitting with some people on his right hand and some on his left hand. When he looked towards his right, he laughed. When he looked towards his left, he wept. Then he said, oh, welcome, pious prophet and pious son. I asked Gabriel, who is he? He replied, he is Adam. So according to this hadith, Muhammad met Adam, right? So now to cut the long story short, let me go to the funny part. The funny part is here. According to the narration, Ibn Hazm and Anas bin Malik said that the prophet said, right? The funny part says, the prophet said, Allah enjoined 50 prayers on my followers. Listen carefully. On my followers, <laughs> not him. Allah enjoined 50 prayers on my followers, not him. Listen carefully. The 50 prayers was for his followers, not him. Listen to, take, pay close attention to how to descend to a discourse when you are listening to somebody talking or a speech. Listen carefully. There are certain details you have to pick up. Then he says, when I returned with this order of Allah, I passed by Moses who asked me, what has Allah enjoyed on your followers? Not the prophet. These 50 prayers, according to the hadith, the prophet was not part of it. So listen carefully. So then he told Moses, what, uh, Moses told Muhammad, what has Allah enjoyed on your, on your followers? <laughs> I replied, he has enjoyed 50 prayers on them, listening again, on them, not on us. He, did, he, the prophet, is not part of the 50 garbage prayers you have. So listen carefully. Mm -hmm. So then he said, I replied, he has enjoyed 50 prayers on them. Moses said, go back to your Lord. Now Moses, who is a dead man, who, is, who was already dead, <laughs> he's now giving prophets the command, go back. Listen carefully. I thought you said the prophet Muhammad was the best of creation. He's the best of everybody. Really? Oh. <laughs> so now a dead Moses was telling him, go back to your Lord and appeal for reduction. It's, are we doing business here? What, what the fuck is this? Excuse my language. What, what is this? Peace, uh, brother uh, Jatim Al-Qatan. What, what is this? 
He is telling Muhammad alayhi salam, go back to your Lord. This, look at the command. Command. It's not even an advice. Go back to your Lord. Then he said what? For your followers will not be able to bear it. And ladies and gentlemen, please learn how to descend to a discourse. To descend carefully. The, pray, the 50 prayers he went to collect, he is not part of it all. He, Muhammad, he is not part of the 50. Listen carefully. He wasn't part of the 50. It was only enjoined on his followers. <laughs> so Moses now told him, go back to your Lord. Your people, he didn't say you, Muhammad, cannot do it. Your people cannot do it. So then what happened? For your followers will not be able to bear it. So I went, listen, the Muhammad says, so I went back to Allah and requested for reduction. So God has made a command. You requested, you appealed for changes. You forgot when Abraham made an appeal to God. Huh? When he made an appeal to God and he told God that don't destroy the people of Lut. What did God tell him? You forgot when Nu alayhi salam, chapter 11 verse 40 downwards, when he made an appeal to God concerning his son being annihilated by God. What did God tell him? And you foolishly accept these doctrines telling you that that fake prophet in the hadith went back to God to negotiate. So let's see. So I went back to God and requested for reduction and he reduced it to half. Remember, Quran says there is no alteration to the words of God. Right? If God says something to be is be, you can't change it. The hadith is now telling you he went back to God and he negotiated and he said reduce and God did what? He reduced. So the kalima of God has changed. But let's see what happens. So he reduced it to half. When I passed by Moses again, he informed him. Where was Jibril all this while? Where was Jibril? Was he sleeping? Because I remember Muhammad was not walking. It is not like you are walking in the market or going to uh, <laughs> the airport to pass the same way. It is the big heavens. <laughs> Muhammad went. So where was Moses standing waiting for Muhammad? I don't understand. And where was Jibril? So Jibril was on standby or sleeping or off duty. So now what happened? And he reduced it to half. When I passed by Moses, he informed him about it. He said, go back to your Lord. Your followers will not be able to bear it. So I returned and requested for reduction and half of it was reduced. Then I asked, I passed by Moses and he said to me, return to your Lord for your followers will not be able to do it again. So I returned to Allah again and he said, these are five prayers. Listen carefully. So after God changing from 50, so now he says, these are five prayers and they are equal to 50 in reward. <laughs> so which means previously, the 50 prayers, the blessing for each, each salat is one. Listen carefully. So now since God has given you five prayers, which means one prayer is 10 blessings. So you have what? 50. So now listen to this gibberish. <laughs> These are five prayers and they are all equal to 50 in reward for my word does not change. Oh my God. Oh my God. What is this? Ladies and gentlemen, are you with me? The fake God and the fake uh, prophet in the Hadith, listen to what they are saying, right? This has nothing to do with the God of the Quran. It has nothing to do with the prophet of the Quran. Wallahi lazim. This is an imposter. So listen carefully. Then he said, These are five prayers and they are all equal to 50 in reward. For my word does not change. I returned to Moses and he told me, Go back once again. Look at Moses now giving Muhammad command. Back and forth. So according to the hadith, excuse me to say, according to hadith, the, the Muhammad in the hadith is so foolish that he doesn't even know what he needs for his people. And he doesn't even know <laughs> what to decide for his people. So a dead man who has been dead for centuries before Muhammad, he met him in the sky and he's telling him your people cannot do it. So go back, go back. 
And you are telling us, insulting God for us, telling us that God himself doesn't even know what the people want and what the people can do. After God says, La you can live Allah nafsan illa usha. Huh? So God has to now put something upon you that you can't. So Moses was more smarter than God and the prophet, according to your, your doctrines. Right? So Hasbunallah wa nibal wakil. Subhanallah. So now, the last time when Moses told him to go back after the five prayers, listen to what Muhammad says. He says, now I feel shy. I feel shy of asking my Lord again. Then Jibril took me till we reach Sidrat al-Muntaha, the low tree of the outmost boundary, which was shrouded in colors, indescribable. What is this? No, excuse me, excuse me. So God gave him five prayers. Where is the rakat? Where is this? Because there's no single hadith which they have from this hadith where he went to take the salat, where he says the rakat. How many rakat were they supposed to do? He doesn't have it. According to your own scholars, they are saying when the prophet went for the five salats, the rakat was two for each prayer. Two, 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 two. How did he become four, three, four, three, four, three? Like a formation. How did he become like that? Salam. Alajah uh, al-Mahmud. Long time. So how did the prayers change from two rakats and he became four, four, three, four, two? Like a formation. Is it Barcelona or Madrid formation? I don't know. What? You believe this garbage? Do you see why I call it garbage? Now, you can go to sunnah.com. That is the best collection of hadith in the world. Sunnah.com. The Aranka is the best. Check it there. You see it for yourself. Both the Arabic and English version. Right? And this is the hadith. They say the prophet went for five, uh, five prayers after negotiation. <laughs> I wonder if Bill Gates does the same negotiation also. So ladies and gentlemen, let me deviate from, not deviate. So uh, the brother who asked me about the five salat, this is how you got the five salat, right? It is not from the Quran, right? God never con commanded 50 prayers, nor more or less to even negotiate and reduce it to five. This is garbage. So if you are doing it, day of judgment, remember to go to Bukhari to take the, the rest of your salary because it's not coming from God. There is no way God would tell me to come to work one o'clock and close at five o'clock. Huh? Somebody else will now bring words and say, go to two o'clock, uh, go 10 o'clock and close at seven o'clock. Who is going to pay me the rest of the hours? Is it God? God never told me to go 10 o'clock and close seven. God told me go one and close five. And you are going 10 to close seven. Who is going to pay you the rest of the hours? Go to your God, who is Bukhari, to pay you the rest. Good.